What's the crack, lads? I'm Paul Aaron Manuface, and welcome to a game called Death Road to Canada. I've been playing it for a while, so I'm kind of used to it. But um, it's basically kind of a concept around uh, zombie survival. It's pretty much the world is fecked, and you have to get to Canada. And up there is like normally the however many days it's going to be to get to Canada. So let me do this and pick up that. And probably that. Yes. Awesome. Hello. Hello. Uh. Sees Felicidad, who's a real dink. Zombies have broken into my home. This is probably your fault. It certainly isn't mine. Tell her to cool it. Convince her to help fight zombies. Tell her to cool it. Is infused, infuriated by this. She's gets super steaming mad. Awesome. Well, fuck you, so. Bye. Do, 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 do. Cha. Uh, X to troll. That's to pick up. To troll. Ah, that's the troll. I see. Fuck you. Hello. I think we have to leave the safe house. At least until we've got rest for a while. Ask Elise to join. Who's success is Elise? Awesome. And now, fucking Elise is dead. Die, zombies. Fuck off. Awesome. Oh, cleaver. Yes. Uh, actually, swap some weapons. Get rid of that wood. Wood, go away. Okay. So, well, I normally get to make my own characters. This is kind of like just a tutorial thing, so I think after this I will still get to make my characters. Which is good. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Uh, blimp and a blimp. Ah, no, blimp. Fuck you. But yeah, normally that in the top left is like that's time, anyways. Zombies get worse at night time, and it's normally about time. And then that the uh, maple leaf symbol. Normally there's a number beside that, and that's how many days drive you are away. And pretty much you have to like drive along the road, keep enough fuel for your car, food to eat. And then your car can break down, it's good to have mechanics with you and so on and so on. Oh god. Um, huge swarms running often beats them, blah blah blah. Okay, out. Have to go this way. And out. Awesome. Climb out. Okay, so now we can actually start. Uh, custom characters. So I like to have. Well, we'll have me first. Where the. F uh, 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 across me is uh, just Paul. Um, okay, to have that's okay. Then to have a car note is good because a car note is um, you start with a nicer car and you gain a mechanical point, which is good. And then to have inventive, inventive is good as well. Two points to mechanics and great wits check, which is also good. Good at repairing cars. So, um. Okay, so that's. How do I change g gender? I think it's a woman at the moment. There we go. <laughs> okay. Face. Uh. And that'll do. I am pasty Irish white. There we go. Uh. Brown ish. There. Kind of. Yeah, that, that's more like it. Oh, some swagging shades. Okay. Oh, that'll do. Fucking Judge Dread. Hats. Oh. Oh, cool hats. Okay. Hmm. I just I go full on fucking biker. Let's do it. Oh, beard. Awesome. Huge beard. And hair. Coming down to meet the beard. There we go. Okay. Save that as my character. That will do. Okay, so now we just go to new game. Empty. Uh, we load our character. And then we can just randomize our body. Fighter, nurturing, mega buff, fierce tempered. Gungeoneer. Gungeoneer could be good. And paranoid is very good as well. That you can normally find out about people with a paranoid person on your team. So, uh, let's. Actually, not game mode. What game I was in? Normal mode. Okay, that'll do. Rare characters is good sometimes because you get like 
uh, rare characters. But, yeah. Okay, let's get into this. Hit the road. Now let's go. So now you can see what the game is more about. Who spots an abandoned Yalmart? Looks like it's been looted, but maybe there's some untouched loot. Mild sluggish afternoon. Hmm, go bargain hunting. May as well. On we go. Let's boogie. Dun, 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 dun. Come on. Let's go, friend. Fucking move. Fuck off. Okay, run around and just check the place. Dun, 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 dun. Fuck off. Dun, 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 dun. Ammo. Food, food, food. Fuck's sake, kill him. Food, food. Fuck off. Uh, f fuck you. Blamp. Blamp. Give me that. Awesome. Give me that. Let's go this way. Nothing over there. Okay. Out. Out we go. Fuck you. Fuck you. And smack you. Oh my shit. My weapon's broke. Uh oh. That's not good. I have to dodge and weave now around everything. Uh. Okay. We should be able to get out fairly handy. There we go. Okay, let's work our way down and around. Let's see if there's anything else over here. There's another door. Handy. Oh, food and food. Fuck off. Oh, samurai sword. Give. Give. Yes. Yes. Oh, fuel. There are normally lots of fuel. Yep, 32. Awesome. Out. Go away. Fuck off. Diddly -diddly 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 -diddly. Fuck you. No, fuck you. Oh, why am I going back over here? I've already been over here. Up, up, up. Fuck you. Oh, what is that? Crowbar. Cardboard tube. Oh. <laughs> yeah, probably not the best weapon to be using, but... It's the only weapon I have, so... Urgh. The only thing about this otaku katana is it tends to break really easily. Okay, that seems to be the end of it. Got a good bit of food though. And some ammo. Fuck you! Back down to the car. Get in! Start the car. Come on, friend. Car start. And give her. Urgh. Awesome. Loads of gas. Set up camp on the highway. There's a bunch of abandoned cars. They're broken, but many should have a little bit of gas. Would you like to siphon Paul? Go. Paul siphons gas, but accidentally swallows a bit and gets really, really sick that night instead of sleeping. Um. Okay, but we got 58 gas, so it's worth it. That's a lot. If we get solar panels and a couple of batteries, it could come in handy. Let's keep our eyes out then. I can see something like that being useful. My scavenger drew runs into a man covered in cardboard boxes. He says he's been stuck out there for... He has a nightstick lane. Help him up. The group saves the man from all the cardboard boxes, pinning him down. Morale increases. Okay. Awesome. We got to have a plan in case the car breaks down. Group drives into a city as it starts to get dark. Try not to lose track of time. Things will get bad after the sun sets. Sparse. Um, camp supplies shop or convenience mart. Camp supplies. Let's see. Go. Go, go, go. Fuck off. Campers depot. Fuck you. Food. Oh, fishing rod. Uh, no, just pick up fishing pole and then the cardboard tube can... Do this. Fuck you. Sturdy machete. At least some nice things. Oh, two food as well. So far. Oh, there's another machete. Um, can I just want to swap to you for a second. And make you pick this up. Pick it up. And then swap back. There we go. Fuck you. Fuck you. Die. Doom to doom. Doom, 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 doom. Is there any other open houses in the area? Oh, my fucking thing broke. 
Oh shit. Machete! Anything in this house? Okay, med kit. Awesome. Oh, and some ammo. That is also good. Down here. Oh, jeez, this is a big house. Fuck off. Nothing in here. Oh, wait, there is. Open. Food! We've got lots so far. Well, not a lot, but a decent amount. Fucking die. Nothing in here, no. Okay. I shouldn't be attacking zombies so much, to be honest, because the more you attack them, the more your weapons break, and you should only really attack them if you have to. But, it's always fun to attack zombies. Go, 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 go. Fuck you. Um, hello. Fuck you. Seven bullets. Awesome. Out of the way. Okay, fuck you, zombie. I'm still fairly safe so far. There isn't much in the ways of zombies. But where's my other person? Oh, she's stuck. Okay. Should probably get her out of here. Come on. Hey. Come on. Get out of there. Go, 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 go. Let's see if there's any other houses open. Go. Okay. It's getting very, very, very dark, which is bad for me. Open. Junk. Awesome. Fuck you. Open. Oh, med kit, yes. And more fuel. There's always fuel in toilets, for some reason. Okay. Open. Oh. Awesome. Go. Open the door. Open. Med kit. Awesome. Down we go. Nope. Da -da 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 -da. Fuck you. And open says me. Fuck you. Open. Awesome. Another med kit. Anything else? Junk. A fuel. Fuck you. Oh, some food. Fuck you. Okay, awesome. We're, we're doing actually fairly good. I've got a lot of fuel, which means I could probably get a lot of the way to the death, down the death road to Canada. Which would be awesome. I'm, I'm going to try and keep the series going until I actually get to Canada. Because I actually don't see what happens at the end of the game, to be honest. So, it would be cool. Fuck you. And fuck you. Okay, what's down here? Hello? Hello? Carry down here and blocked off house. I don't think there's anything else. So we should get the fuck out of here. Go! Yay! Loads of food. Up to 15 now. 183 fuel. 4 medicals. 27 pistol ammo. Awesome. Tijuana. The group sets up camp for the night after being sure there's no danger here. They discover edible berry bushes all around the campsite. The berries won't be a big amount of food for the work and sleepless night, but every bit could help. Pick berries all night. That's a food. That's still a good bit. Seems they eat eight four for a night. Their morale's probably have gone down. Oh, it didn't. The way ahead has a big tree line. Go through, lift the tree, take a detour. Uh, take a detour. Group decides to take a detour. This is usually a bad idea. It takes some extra time and gas, but not too much. Huh, that's... Not too bad, actually. 25 gas isn't bad. Outside of Canada, most of society and civilization has been destroyed. You can still visit a trader camp. Normally, I can get food for something in here. Wow. Hello. Group finds a man selling a bunch of firearms. He's holding a minigun that has a scope, a laser sight, and a flashlight attached to it. However, his selection seems to be pretty common stuff. Cowboy rifle for five food. Revolver for five food. Revolver might not be bad because I've got pistol ammo. Um, I have 19 food left. Um, fine, buy the revolver. Okay. Awesome. 
What do you sell? She invites you. Got so many that I'm looking to sell some. Rifles. Cowboy rifle for 10 food. Leave her. Fuck off. What are you? You're selling. You're buying for fucking medical supplies. He offers one medical item. Oh no. One medical item for each 14 food. For each item of food. Oh. Trade five food. Medical is always a lot better. I should have enough food to get me to the next area. This fella's normally food for gas. Two cans for every 25 gas, so... Hmm. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, four food. Awesome. That should be us. Fairly. Well on. I just want to... Uh... Hmm. I forget how to... I think it's actually I have to be going into a mission. Start the car. Go! Nyom! Down the death road to Canada. Things are going good now, but we got to be prepared for anything. Yeah, things are going good, actually. The group is about to break into a small fortified grocery store, but then finds Helma already living inside. She seems like a calm, clever person. Hmm. Ask Helma to join. Sure, I'll join. I was running out of food anyways. Get six food. Did Joanna judge her character? Attitude and loyalty, which is all oh, both good. That's really good. Okay, that's awesome. And she's really strong wits. Covered with hordes of undead and chances sprinting through the sewers. The group gets surrounded and their only chance of sprinting through the Oh, fuck me, no. Okay, I'm gonna need this. Um, oh, I have to give. What does she have? She has a frying pan. She can have this as well in case something snaps. And that should be us ready. Right. Okay, fuck. Uh oh. Okay. Run through the sewers. Uh. Go, go, go. Where's the way out? Ow. Don't hurt me. Uh. Oh, there's another door. Oh my god, what, what the fuck is all this? Wow. Oh, so much ammo, so much ammo, so much ammo. Okay, that was awesome. And she picked up a katana. That's also awesome. What's down here? Please be something good. Hello? Uh, this is, does not look good. Uh oh. Come on. Fuck you. Shoot you in the face. Oh, way out. Oh, thank you. Climb out. Go, go, go. Loads of fucking armor of that as well. That was awesome. No one got too badly hurt. Too small to control, baby. Woo! Helma's morale increased. Morale increased. Awesome. Morale and random skill gain. Mechanical. Plus one to all skills. Hmm. They feel like they're getting the hang of this. Oh. I might give her a plus one to all skills. It's becoming a zombie master. Strength, fitness, shooting, mechanical, medical. Awesome. Are we there yet? <laughs> if only. It gets late and there's no great place to camp. Solo zombies hobble around in the far distance and one might sneak up on the group while this. Who should watch? Take shifts. No. It's good to get one person to watch. Go, Helma. Helma stands watch for the roads up. She managed to stay awake but feels groggy. See, normally if you take shifts, most of the time everyone gets sad by the end of the night. Which is better or worse than just one person. Um, go shopping. Everything is calm and moderate, so it should be okay. So let's boogie. I want to swap my weapon. There's just no point in wasting bullets on a couple of small zombies. Yo, Mert. So, oh, there's a lot of zombies in here now. Food. Fuck off. Okay. Anything else around? What was that? Oh, food. 
Oh, they can pick it up as well. That's good. Oh, there's a door over here. Go, 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 go. Fucking move. Fucking tr trolley. Oh, food, 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 food. Yes. Okay, that's awesome. Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay. Fuck you. Fuck you. Go, 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 go. Oh, there's still more food down these aisles. Attack. Food. Attack. Come on. One of you pick this up. Come on. There you go. Awesome. Food. Any more food lying around? No. I think there was a door up here somewhere. Yes, there is two doors up here. Hello. Nothing in here. Do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. And then fuck you. Run. Run. Let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, it's now midday. Huh, pretty safe. I'll just walk around this side in case there's any, like, bits or pieces in cars. Not the looks of it, though. Wait, start the car. Car start. Floor it! Okay. We're still only, like, not only a few days out. Or, well, not a few days, but we're only a few days in, I should say. It would have... Have to be someone calm and trustworthy. Group spots group of bandits that have set up a checkpoint. Someone from the team should be sent. Helma. Her ILC is good. So they leave the car to checkpoint. Everyone out to the bandits. She distracts them from fire and runs. They give chase and the car is able to get past. Helma sneaks around the checkpoint later and rejoins everyone. Yay! Everything went well. Uh, I chose her because her loyalty was already revealed to be um, very good, so. The car is broken down. Attempts to fix the car. Plus the hood, it completely fails to repair the car after wasting a day on it. Awesome! We have to walk now. While walking through the woods, Paul doesn't pay attention to where he is going. Falls in a deep puddle of water. Scares fully submerged, putting his place in danger. Oh, you dope. God damn it, we just lost a lot of shit. After an entire day of walking, the group finds a safe camping spot. The group is very hungry and eat an extra meal. The group is low on food and eats half as much. Uh, moral isn't doing good. The group is hiking down the gravel road where they group wrecked cars. Chances are there's still gasoline, some cars, and one may still work. Hopefully. I think if you wait, it actually zooms in on the better. Or you can just blind fire and hope for the best. What the fucking stop using that anyways. Chop the fuck out of him. Oh, the gas is going to be amazing though. The amount of gas that you normally get out of this place. It's 55 already. Okay. Wait, can I actually check all these? Oh, I can actually check. You can check all the cars, for fuck's sake. I didn't know that. I'm after running past loads of cars. Well, not loads, but you know, some. Fucking, no, I can't check that one. Can I check this one? Yes, I can. I can check this one down here. Awesome. Oh, someone's weapon broke. Come on. We're doing good, though. Lots of fuel. Um, food. Oh, and an SUV. Okay, we got an SUV. I got an SUV. That's good. That's good. Start the car. Car start. Floor it. Yay. Loads of fuel and lots of fuel. Loads of fuel. Blah, blah, blah. Loads of food and lots of fuel. <laughs> Go to sleep, Tinker. The group camps in a sturdy building. It seems to be an old repair shop. With some bus laying around. This could be a great time to train with repairing things. Tinker. Mm. Sleep is probably better. They're not in a good mood. Ugh. 
Paul says that someone in the group isn't pulling their weight and demands that they be kicked out. Who should leave the group? Oh no! Helma is good and then Tisha. Helma. Awesome. B flies into the car even with a window open. It doesn't leave. It keeps flying right into the group faces. This could be the biggest challenge yet. Paul swats to be. Paul swats to be. It solves to be problem, but he gets done. Paul is hurt. Awesome. Oh, I got hurt by that. Why? This apartment building is, was turned into a barricaded fortress. It has been completely overrun by a horde of zombies. On the plus side, they seem fairly docile for now. Thick and calm. Oh, attack the fortress because there's probably a lot of nice stuff in there. If only we had the third person, Paul. Fucking kicking everyone out. Come on, come on, come on. Nothing in here. Awesome. Come on. Attack them all. Attack. Go, 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 go. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, oh. Axe is always good. Hatchet. Yes. Hatchet lasts ages. Ammo. We've got a lot of pistol ammo already. Apparently. Don't even remember picking any up. Okay, nothing in here. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh no. Fucking chair. Oh, stick of wood. Useless stuff. Okay, quick. Oh my Jesus. Ammo. Oh. Oh, there's lots of fucking health kit stuff. Uh. Health. Go. Oh god. Go. Through the door. This made it worse, didn't we? Go away. Uh oh, I think we may be dead. Uh oh. Yeah. Everyone else is dead. Did you want it as alone? Uh, that's fuck. Oh shit. Okay. I'll leave this episode of Death Road Canada here. I'll try and restart another game and get back to a similar point to about the 11 day mark and then see how we go from there. But thank you all for watching this episode. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.